Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm back with another PC build which is destined to mid-range streamers slash gamers that offers a terrific price to performance. And as always don't forget to subscribe and slap that like button and share this video so more and more people can benefit from this and let the action begin after the intro. First of all, the CPU, and for that I went with the Xeon E5 1650V2, which is a 6 core 12 thread chip with a 3.5 base clock and boosts up to 3.9 GHz built on the IP bridge architecture on the 22 nanometer process. And the best of all, it can be overclocked up to 4.2 GHz on all cores, and it has quad channel DDR3 1866 RAM, which equals a 3600 DDR4 dual channel kit. That's the power of the old Zeons. Baby, when I tell you Popeyes will bless your soul, do you hear me? Hey. Zeons. Hey! God, I love you. <laughs> For the motherboard, we got a Chinese LGA 2011 motherboard, which has every feature that you need, like PCIe Gen 3, full speed NVMe, dual 16x PCIe lanes, two SATA 3 ports, USB 3 and many many more. The motherboard slash CPU combo costs around 165 bucks shipped on AliExpress. This beast won't run without RAM so I equipped it with a 4x8 gigs of DDR3 1866 RAM running in quad channel. This kit usually come at a price tag of $65 with free shipping on AliExpress. For the CPU cooler, you need a beefy cooler for this 135 watt TDP beast. So I went with a Chinese dual dual tower cooler with the three PWM fans. It should cost you around 25 bucks on AliExpress. What a bargain! For power in this sucker, we can get away with a, with a 600 watt power supply 80 plus white. Units for 35 to 40 bucks on sites like Amazon or New Egg. For the case, I got an NZXT H510. I like this case because of the simplicity and the neutral colors that fits with every build. I found it on Amazon for 69.99 cents ship, which is a pretty good deal. I got a one terabyte NVMe SSD from X-ray Disk on AliExpress for a crazy 100 dollars with a free shipping. Now that's a bargain. Now for the core component of every build, the GPU, this time I went with Team Red. At this price point, the RX 5600 XT is a better choice than both the 1660 Ti and the RTX 2060 in both price and performance. Now for the big question, is this platform still have some life in it? Yes. The LGA 2011 was the platform of many extreme CPU editions and Xeon's releases that make that makes it viable for at least 5 years if you can find some extreme edition CPUs for cheap in the future. That was it for today folks. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make the red subscribe button down there grey. And see y'all in another video.